seriously. Don't miss an episode when we take our 15 hour flight tomorrow. I'm excited for you to see it. Daniela, they give us towels. They give us warm towels here. They give us menus. <laughs> we get menus. Pillows. Blankets. Oh, we got more goodies. <gasps> oh my god. Creams for my face and stuff. Okay, okay. They got me lotion. They realized that I haven't showered in like five days. So that's why they brought this over. You know, I need to do that. I think I should shower. Hydrating facial mist. Pajamas? PJs? Should I be offended? He thought I was this this size. Can I get a medium? Yo, I think I look good. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm getting kicked out of this flight. I'm getting kicked out of this flight. Looks good, right? Too small? You have an L? I think they have an L. Oh, I need an L? But you look good. You look really showing off your biceps and everything. <laughs> but the back is a bit heavy, to be honest with you. Thank you. Ask your girlfriend to film you from the back. From the back? Yeah. Oh wow, I don't know how to read Arabic, but you know what? I'm gonna stare at it and pretend like I do because I speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? No, no. I'm a basic one, yeah. Ah, and tahlu al-kthir. You know what? I'm not changing into the large. That's telling life like I'm accepting being a large. But no, I want to stay medium, so I'm gonna stay in the medium no matter how tight it is on my back. Oh my goodness, it's still going. Uh-oh, my belly button's about to show. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, in all seriousness, you're probably wondering what in the world is going on. Well, I can finally tell you. When I slept over Jesse's house, I got so excited with how the journey was going, I looked at Daniela and I said, let's fly out the country. She said, okay, I know friends who live in Qatar. What? So she contacted those friends and those friends were able to get us hooked up by Qatar Airways to fly in their airplane for free to Qatar. So I said yes right away. We have no plans, no ideas what we're gonna do, no idea where we're gonna stay, and no idea what's gonna happen, but that's just our starting point and then we're gonna travel the world. I hope you guys are coming along with us on this journey because it's about to get intense. I understand we're in first class right now. I understand how blessed we are to be in first class. And I know there's still somebody who doesn't watch all the episodes and they're about to comment and say, I thought he was homeless. How is he getting first class? I've discussed this so many times and I've clarified what I meant by homeless. And now anything that comes is a blessing. This opportunity that we have to be here is a blessing. You know, I'm not, you know, looking for thrills. I'm not looking for lavish lifestyles. Like had they got us seats way back there, that would have been our seats. But I am in a blessed position and I am in a position where, you know, I am able to appreciate things like this. And that's why I'm trying my best to give back. A lot of you are probably wondering, but Yusuf, aren't you fasting? Well, right now we're traveling and I don't want to get into it, but when you travel, I'm not going to say it's acceptable or permissible, but I'm able to miss my fast and then going to make it up. So to anybody misunderstanding why I'm eating right now on the airplane going to Qatar. I just woke up. I slept for 15 hours. And I wake up to this from this gentleman right here. Is it too <laughs> Thank you so much. wait for you guys to experience this. So many of you watching have only seen the Middle East from what you've seen on TV and the news and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you a whole new side to this world and I'm just so excited. But I'm not only gonna show you the good sides, I'm gonna show you the good sides, the bad sides, and everything else that comes with it. Let's go. But first, bathroom. 
I was just walking in the bathroom and he said Assalamu Alaikum to me. If you don't know what that means, it just means like peace be with you. You know, it's a, it's a way to bless you. It's, it's such a nice thing to say. It's not as scary as you might think. So. What? They have this here? Growing up, my friends always used to ask me, why do you have a water gun in your bathroom? Well, this isn't a water gun, guys. You know what this is used for? After you're done using your bathroom, you go like this, and then you get to spray it, and it cleans you better than you ever could. This close to not getting let in. This close. This close. But thankfully, we're in. It's all because of this hat. It's all because of the hat. That's Kimo's hat. This close. But we're here. Whew. There he is. Yo. There he is. The man himself. Holy shit, man. How you doing? <laughs> you flew us doing, out bro? here. Thank you Yo. so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, doing. Happy birthday, Daniela. Danny. Yeah. <laughs> it's Danny. Hey. Yo. Okay, you have to get me dressed in a thobe. Absolutely. Because you know, the Qatari thobe is the equivalent to an Italian suit. It's really? perfectly cut. Everything is shaped perfectly to your body. Oh, so they're gonna size me up? Yeah. Will I be able to get it in the same day? Not on the same day, but you get to choose your fabric, you get to choose the buttons, the collar, the cuffs. It's gonna be your style. So we are here in Doha, Qatar, chilling. My man Yusuf. This is all the clothes I brought. Oh yeah? Dude, dude, don't worry, dude. We'll get you shopping, we'll get you right. Okay. Dude, dude, it's gonna be fun. Right, right, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> As we jab into the skyline of Doha. <laughs> He's man. crazy. First things first, before even that, we have to go get the episode up for you guys. I don't, I told them I don't want to do anything fun. We're running to the hotel and editing the episode to get her up for you guys. So let's go. I didn't know where we were sleeping, and these guys got us a hotel for our first night here. Of course not. But hospitality, Qatari hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> we're on a journey where we're supposed to be like slumming, finding a way to sleep. We're not paying for, we're not paying not for paying it. For they got it all. We you, know what, you know what they say though, right? What do they the say? The more you give back, the more life gives back to you. And thank you've been you. giving back a lot to people. Thank you. I'm just saying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sort of quote right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for you. Welcome to my summer. Oh, been waiting. My goodness. <laughs> this is the hallway. I have no idea what we're walking into. Welcome to school. Oh! Yeah, Aww. Oh my goodness! Why? What? Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is a fresh mint and lemon juice. Lemon juice? Yes, lemon. mint and lemon. Do I sip it or take the whole thing? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we want to make sure he has a really good time. No, no, no this is amazing. You guys really are so good kind. Yes, you can ask that question. Yeah, our, yeah. Our, our pastry chef Valerio is amazing. I mean, he's responsible for this and then he's very talented. This whole thing I can eat? Yes. I can eat this right here? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's very kind. So, <laughs> Daniela has her own suite. We did not need all of this. Like, literally, you could have took us, like, any, like, we didn't need a place. Well, I mean, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, you've been doing so many cool things for the people around you. We've seen that, and I really believe that the more that you give to people, 
the more that the world will give back to you. And of course, we would have done this for anyone, to be honest. I mean, Qatar's known for being hospitable, I'm just saying. It's your first <laughs> time in the Gulf, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's the first time, Daniela, in the Middle East all together. Oh, wow. That's the way. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You know, when I first started YouTube, all I used to wear was a tasbih. Every video. Keep this with you, man. Thank you so much. So what these are actually used for, let me just give them a quick briefing, because I want you guys to learn about everything that you can. So these are actually prayer beads. So with each bead, so you'll see a lot of like people going like this, right? You're counting off in your head a different prayer um, in your language. So even if, even if you didn't want to do it like that, I could be like this. I love my life, I love my life, I love my life, I love my life, I love my life. You're giving grateful. And then usually in the tasbih, there's a break. So there's a break right here. When you get to the break, you switch to another prayer and you switch till you get around and you can keep going over and over and over. So these are very sacred. These are very, you know, precious and pure. So, so this is all the stuff I brought for the trip. This is basically what's in my backpack because I want to make this a cinematic experience for you guys. So I might not have packed a lot of clothes, but I packed a lot of goodies to make this epic. And I'm hey, like, yo, yo guys, forget this. You guys got to come check this out right here. Ah, I told you I got you good. I told you I hooked you up. Yo, there's a patio. Look at this view, man. Oh man, look, look at. No, don't do it, Yusuf. No, don't, I, don't do it now. No, a celebration for 10 million. Oh, that's scary. Oh god, that's scary. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> I don't mean to change the mood or say something like negative or make you guys down, but I wanna. When I lived in my apartment in LA. Oh, don't. What? That scares me. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> please don't. I really get scared. No, dude. I'm no, just... please. I really get. My palms are sweaty right now. Don't do that. I'm not do Don't do that. Please. I just want to hear what you're saying. Tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Don't worry. Do it. Try it. Try no. It. Try no. it. Trust me. Trust me. Stop. Trust me. Just put one hand here. But you don't even know what story I was about to say, and then you want me to do this. Just try. It. Put one hand here and just do it. There. Show them the the, the ledge right here. I'm not doing it. And I'll explain why. I'm gonna tell you guys an honest story. When I lived in LA, right. in my apartment, and I spent every night alone, I fantasized and imagined me going to my apartment patio and jumping off. Where I would land, how people would find me, what people would say, what the news would say, what my family would say. Fantasize about I fantasized about my suicide daily, every night. So the fact that, that never happened, obviously, right. but the fact that now I'm on a ledge in the same way that I imagined myself so many times, but I'm on a ledge now looking over beautiful Qatar with beautiful people, beautiful people supporting. I say that to say, no matter what you're going through, it gets better. You gotta be patient. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta know that it will get better. You might not believe that right now, but had I done what I had planned on doing, not only would I have messed up my own life, I would have messed up the life of my family, my friends, people who cared about me, the people who support me and everything. So no matter what you're going through, hold on, because if you feel like nobody cares about you right now, we care. We're creating this for you, we care. And just, yeah, I hope no matter what you're going through, you get through it. Now get back over here, Kimo. Daniela. Get back over. <laughs> what are you doing? Daniela, stop. This is not Instagram goals. Give me a hand. Give me your hand. No, 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 hold no, no, on, hold on. Yeah. Give me your hand. I don't have that. I want a picture. No, we don't need a picture. <laughs> Daniela, what are you doing? I don't like this. All right, I'm about to show you guys the luxury of the place that we're at. But we were just talking, and he has so much planned for charity that we're going to do out here, right? Hell yeah. He's Daniela's friend, and he's part of the group that flew us out here. So he said he has a ton of stuff that we're going to do. So we're not only going to show you guys this that they put us in that I didn't expect, Come this way. Show them the shower, Fousey. That's what I'm about to do. I got a shower. It's past midnight, by the way, right now, guys. And I finally got yesterday's episode up for you guys. All right. So, first off, come here. They have this. Kimo, what is this? Oh. Oh, God. Watch this. I'm going to play right yeah. I know what this is. It's the your butt. Yeah. Kimo, uh, yeah. why is there a water fountain right here? Yo, what the hell are you doing? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? This is for something else. What is it for? Right, so this is why you gotta explain to uh, people when they come from the West exactly what things are before they start. Oh my god! He's actually testing it. So. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Two seconds ago, you didn't see your phone. Whoa! I haven't had that kind of rush in a long time in my life. One thing before we leave. Okay. Everybody's been wondering where I got the blue shoes from, the blue hat from that one time, and now these shoes right here. Yeah. I'm so sorry I forgot to mention. When I went to Alex Wasabi's house, I had extra stuff there, and I switched it out, and I never told you guys. I even switched again. I'm wearing these shoes now, and that's all I brought here. So, yeah, I know a lot of you keep track of the inventory, and I know this whole style of the journey is changing as a whole, but for now, that's what's going on, and my apologies once again. Now we're about to go to the market in Souk, but you have to understand, um, it's today is really super late. It's really quiet. There's not gonna be a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna check out like the market late at night, and we can't. We don't have permits, so it's just gonna be like a. Like so we video. can't film. We can't really film, no, because we, the permits are coming tomorrow. I can't wait. Let's go. All right, guys. So the place we're at right now, it doesn't allow you to film because we don't have permits, and everybody congregates here until 3:10 a.m. where they have to stop eating and start fasting for the next day. This is the only place in Doha right now that's open. So we're not allowed to record, but just show them a little bit. Show them. Do you have a store at the end or not? Yeah. 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 Yo, this is, this is so dope. My dad would love this right now. This is Dude. like... This is like, this is it. This is home. This is insane. Dude, just wait till you see it like in the morning, man. The market. Look, look, the best thing about the Middle East is you can just say hi to everybody and everyone is like super friends. Like, check this out, right? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. They all really want him to shut the hell up <laughs> so they can eat their food. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam they just invited us to eat with them. I was kidding because when you say Assalamu Alaikum to somebody, it's like the utmost respect to a person. So they're going to say it back to you. They'll never want you to shut up if you're telling them Assalamu Alaikum. self-portrait of me right there I haven't even been here and somebody already drew me that's awesome guys I just want to say so many of you have already tweeted me saying you want me to like do a meet and greet out here we're in Doha Qatar and I will I will meet all of you You're one of the best actors I've ever seen in my entire life. He was really pushy. He was really pushy. 
And then right. I smiled at him and Come here, shake hands. Hi. I, I saw this cup, this is stubborn coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> I smiled at him and he said, he said, well, you're smiling? Oh man, that was good. Yeah, and he's big too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Jasmine Ali. One of my closest friends ever. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to stop laughing. I was God. I'm yeah, laughing. Can you remember? Oh, that, was you, that was so real. I no, couldn't believe it. Thanks for looking at for me though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> As Real soon as, homie the, yeah, as, soon Real as the homie hands rat. came on, I tried to get in the middle, but I'm not gonna throw it. It's Ramadan. You, you can't get in physical. <laughs> 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 <laughs>